Hi guys, welcome back to another Red Dog Gaming video where we are continuing our Let's Play as the Scipii Romans. Now we have been doing well, we have been crushing Numidia and they only have two settlements left and then we will be down in Egypt ready to go for the big showdown. Now hopefully by that time we will have another army ready up here in Carthage where we have three generals chilling, um, all us Herius and Publius. Aulus is a terrible, terrible general. Um, down here in Lepsis Magna, of course, we smashed a couple of Numidian armies. They've got this one coming through. As you can see, once again, it is pure trash. Flavius really is a great general. He's been in wars as well, which is two to the general's hit points. I don't know, is any of these guys scarred? I've also noticed... <laughs> I've also noticed... Did I not tell you guys that this guy would become known as the Harsh? It just happens. Whatever he does. Like, I've had campaigns where I've got him and just left him, like, governing Carolus or, or you know... Or governing Lilibium or, or something like that. You know, governing a settlement down here. And he still becomes known as the Harsh. And look at this trait. Rods and axes. This man's belief in the rightness of Roman law is unshakable. And his enforcement of it is inflexible, even harsh. Plus three to unrest, but plus six to law. Plus 15 bonus to popularity with the Senate. So he should actually get a Senate um, seat sometime soon. But he is a beast. Gaius the Harsh... What an animal of a man. Problem is, he's stuck in the desert and it's going to take him some time to get out. <laughs> some time. And by some time, I really mean that. Now, this army should be ready to uh, get going very soon. We'll probably come here, jump on the boat. If we have to jump off the boat to kill those guys, no problem. And then we're going to get this Carthage um, army moving down to Egypt ASAP. There's only two boats there, though. I'd quite like some more boats. Jump in that army, uh, jump in that navy, and you're actually coming back. You were coming to get... Were you... Hmm. Were you bringing someone? No. What were we doing with you? I've forgotten. Uh, were we bringing a general back over here? Maybe Cordoba? Maybe. We'll, we'll see, anyway. Uh, but yes. Oh, we have this navy here as well. Um, so you can go join up with these boys. Right, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Yes, we are in a good situation. Gaul. Gaul is trying to bribe Capua. Nice one, Gaul. That's definitely going to happen. Stupid. <laughs> a candidate for adoption. Gnaeus Balbus. Uh, good attacker. Good defender. Been in wars and publicly loyal. That is excellent. The Senate offices are... Oh, what?! Senate, come on, man. You love me. Why would you do this? We've got, so we have Gnaeus Balbus, who 100% should be in wars. What we should probably do with uh, Publius, seeing as he is going to become a lunatic. He's flexible and licentious, which is terrible traits. We will send him off to Cordoba to hold that city. Because look, they keep going in between happy and unhappy. And my guess with that is either a Gallic or a Spanish spy is making that public order go down. We can actually probably see. Yeah, unrest minus 15%. That is most likely due to a spy. So, how do you feel about our own spy being in here and finding you, you fool? Right, let's get some building done, as usual. Carolis. Uh, we will get the roads. Um, I'm still not sure whether they do anything in, in this game or not, but we, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what do we want over here, then? Um, we could go with this so we can get some nice archers get, getting going at some point. Archers are always useful. Roads, of course, in Serta. Lepsis Magda, we can't build anything. That is unfortunate. Oh, we can build a uh, temple. Let's go with the temple, then. And we want the one with law. Saturn. Saturn, you bring us law, my friend. So that army has turned around. I believe that army will genuinely just go. Um, 
if we go and attack Kyrene, they'll probably come after us. They're still happy, just with the single peasant. That is fantastic news. Um, so we'll get on the boats, and of course we will use the old exploit. <laughs> what would this game be without exploits, eh? What would it be? How are we looking at Carthage, though? Um, we've got all the equites we need. Three... For, we've only got four Princapes though, which is not brilliant, but we'll get them going soon. If you go there, I believe one of you will go with Publius. We want you to just get to the end of the Earth, Publius, because you are that bad. You are that bad as... A, I could even just send him and put him in a fort in the middle of nowhere. But uh, that's not... That's not me, bro. That's not me. I do not act like a waste man. That is not me. Oh, God. Get in there, bro. Um, yes, fantastic. Everything is going swimmingly. Prob this is the problem you always run into as the Skippy Eye. It's you get to this point, you defeat Carthage very easily, very quickly. Uh, we defeat them in two videos, which I'm, I'm happy with. I'm pretty proud of. Um, but then these regions are so far apart... And, like, he's just running across the desert rather than getting on roads. That <laughs> it takes forever to, like, then sort of get your next wave of conquering. When you're the Brutii, you get to Greece. Look at all these settlements in this tiny area. You can conquer, like, you know, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven settlements really easily. Ten, if you include these three as well. And then Anatolia, which also is highly densely populated. You've got these two islands as well, so you have... A lot of options when it comes to conquering settlements. Now, if the Brutii want to hold off and not take Corinth, we will because the Temple of Zeus is the best monument in the game by quite a long way. Uh, but yes. Cool. I think also here we will recruit a Town Watch as the Royal Guard just to watch over the town just in case um, Julianus dies. He is 52, so there will be a chance he dies soon. Ah, there's the city eye. Let's, uh, let's, let's speak to them. Stop trying to bribe me, Gaul. It's not going to happen, bro. Julianus is a good man. He would not accept your dirty barbarian bribes. Games will be thrown at your honor, but you're still not giving me, like, <laughs> anything that I want. I, I don't get it. Repair those, please. I believe it will be fine next turn. Retrain you. We'll get another town watch, just in case. Doesn't matter. We're making enough money now that it really doesn't matter. Germania and Thrace are broken. And Brutii and Gaul have... Uh... Yeah, we're making so much money now. Brutii and Gaul have stopped fighting each other, which is weird, but okay. Fair enough. Tingi. Let's build some roads in Tingi. Dimidi. Build some farms. Lepsis Magnet. Can't build anything. Is... Are we building everywhere we can? Fantastic, we are. Interesting to see where that army is gone. I'll just come back this way just to make... Okay. He is there. Let's boat bomb him then. Fantastic. Let's go. First battle of the episode, boys. Fantastic. Uh, do like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Please do that. That would be fantastic. Keeping it going. How many times can I say fantastic in an episode? That would be fantastic. A fantastic counter for every fantastic time I say fantastic. Yes. Very good. Now let's see how Flavia stands up against Gaius's speeches. I've got to say, out of the characters in this campaign, Gaius has to be my favourite so far. Gaius the Harsh. Gaius the Harsh. The harshest man of them all. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, God, I said it again. Oh. While we stand together as Romans, we will not fear defeat. We will look forward to victory. The Numidian king has sent his servants against us. Do not fear them, for they will be cut down just like other men. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? The enemy are numerous, it is true. 
but those very numbers make the risk to them greater. A full quarter of their warriors face us. Let us crush them and drive a stake through the heart of our foe. Let your watchword be victory. They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter. On this field, we have the benefit of greater numbers. It is one we would do well not to squander. They may take the high ground, but why should this help a bunch of slack-jawed idiots like them? The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. Now I say, this far and no further. Here we make a stand. You all know my worth and what I have done before. Of the foes who attacked me in the past, few ever got to boast of their success. <laughs> Slack-jawed idiots. I mean, I can't disagree, honestly. Uh, Flavius, I knew we called him Gaiason. Um, right then. Let's get you guys lined up. Not that we really need to use you, to be honest. It's going to be a cavalry ting again. High ground. They're probably going to stand up there, aren't they? Yep, they are. War dogs, get after them. My bros. God, they feel confident. They're coming down off their hill, so they must feel like they have some sort of crazy advantage. I mean, they have to skirmish us, so that's probably their thinking there. Come on, war dogs, let's go. I want you to release the hounds! Uh, we could just charge into that, probably break them all. We'll lose a few troops if we do that, but it's that general that I'm worried about. It's a 49, so it's just a faction leader. Right, now you guys get back. Come on, dogs, let's go. Let's get in there. The great charge of the Romans once again! We'll just break this flank. Yeah, we'll break them all. Yeah. And now let's get out. Let's get out. We've broken a couple. Nice one, boys. Let's go. Get out. We're not really losing many troops, which is great because their general doesn't know what to do. We have a very weak unit of Astarte here. Uh, now what we're going to do is surround him and charge him. You guys get in as well. Who are you? How are you breaking, you fools? Yeah. Come on, guys. Surround. Fully surround him. He's going to break. Fighting to the death. That's good for us, actually, because I want him to die. Nice. That's their king again. All right. Come on, boys. Let's go. We don't need to worry about those last two. You guys just get up there. <laughs> it's not really going to matter. I want you to get through them, really, would be my ideal scenario here, boys. Just get through them, it'll break them all. Rather than charge them. If they charge, this is one of the interesting things about the engine in this game, guys. If they actually charge, uh, they do lose some troops in the charge if it goes badly. But that was a good charge. Even if it is charging Numidian Javelin Men. Which is why Quintus the Weak... I hate to mention his name, but that is why he died in that charge. He died on the charge rather than uh, for any other reason than that. I mean, the fact that he was incredibly weak is probably the main reason. But yes. Right. Fantastic. Yeah, they killed 38. We'll get 647. 16 Equites, 13. Pretty much all Equites. A few Hastati here and there. War Dogs doing some work. Ooh! Equites, well done. 153. Fantastic. 137. Yes, cavalry is strong. Even if the Equites can break very easily. If you use them effectively, they are strong. But obviously, we're just fighting an army full of Peltas. So, you know, we could have just charged straight through that army if that general wasn't there. How quick will it be to get you there? Nope, it's better. Definitely quicker on the boat. Probably quicker to get to the boat here, I'd say. Yeah. It's about here. No. I want you there. That's better place to get. Right, spy, let's go. 
I don't think Namidia will have any more sort of armies for us to worry about. And we'll be in Egypt soon, which will be fun. Egypt likes to spam out a lot of troops. Oh, Nepte, you have nothing. Oh dear, that is that is some serious trash you've got there, Nepte. I feel almost sorry for you. So we'll get our own trash to fight your trash. Um, Damidi's happy now. We don't need these Spanish guys. You did well, boys. You did well, but I'm sorry. You're just wasting money at this point. Um, Cordova is very unhappy. Don't like that. <laughs> Are we going to be able to get there in time? If they don't revolt next turn, I hope... I'm hoping they will be fine. You guys... Hmm. Gnaeus. Gnaeus! Gnaeus! Great Gnaeus. The man of the people. How are you now, uh, Lucius? Yeah, getting a bit of a uh, philosophically inclined, skilled debater. You should be very popular in the Senate. You might... Oh, we'll build that straight after as well. Right, let's end the turn. Why are we going... Ah, oh, why are we going there? I should have gone to the... I forgot about the diplomat. We can probably trade with the Scythii, which is fantastic. I love that. Yeah, who are you? You are a Thracian diplomat. Let's go and talk to these boys. Over here. Let's get back on the boat. Can actually go all the way. I don't think we'll be able to get the troops off though because obviously we used a bit of an exploit to get us to get there. Oh dear. I'm sorry Namidia. You... You were in a, a losing situation to start with, but <laughs> you are terrible. Masana. We can upgrade Masana. Fantastic. How far is Capua? Oh, Jesus. Capua is close. Very nice. Very nice. Now, we've got to think about what we want to like, what we want to build here, really. Probably, let's have a look at a building browser. What do we need for the armory? Great forum. It's going to be a while before we get that. So we, we you should definitely get the forum next. Ganaeus. Ganaeus, you are getting some lovely traits. Very nice. Master Smith. Plus one commanding, command when defending walls. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, what are the rest of the traits? Let's have a look at those. Ganaeus got those. Aulus, you getting some. All the Scully's management up to two, bro. Wow. You've actually turned out to be okay, you know? You were horrendous. You've turned out to be okay. Um, and then we have Herius. So Herius, Priest of Vulcan. Yeah, that's not something we really need for you. I'd like to um, move followers. So Herius... I'd like to move the priest of Vulcan. Uh, no, to Aulus if we can. Where's Aulus? Aulus. I like. How do we do this? Uh, Aulus is priest of Vulcan. There we are. Oh. Aulus already has one of these. Okay. Well, I guess we don't move him then. <laughs> Fine. Right, let's get these Hastati across the way. To get retraining. We're going to have Marion Reform units soon though. So, don't need to worry about it too much. Right, Forum next. Syracuse is building that. Palmer, it doesn't matter what you build at this point. Uh, Cordoba, yes! Happy again. Thank you. Um, and you know what? We should keep going with the law and everything because, obviously, it's a long way away from our capital. A lot of corruption. Oh, look at that. Minus 1,900 in corruption. That new building will reduce it by 300, which is great. But 1,900. That's crazy. Right, big Gaius. My favourite man in all of Rome right now. Oh, look, they're quite experienced as well. They must have been uh, through a few auto-resolve battles with the AI. But yes. Gaius the Great. I just want him to be called Gaius the Great. It works so well. Not the harsh. 
Stop calling him the harsh. He's a misunderstood boy, okay? I know he decimates the army every few months just because he gets angry over someone's unpolished boots, but he is, he's misunderstood, okay? He's misunderstood. It's Gaius the Harsh, man. Gaius the Harsh. He should be known as Gaius the Great. But let's hear his very short speech normally. Only a fool cares for omens and portents, no matter how bad they may be. We make our own destinies, and we are not ruled by the flight of some damn bird. Rebellious slaves may think of victory, but we should make them think kindly of their master's whips. They are dead men, warriors. We are here to do one job. Prevent them from taking the town at all costs. Today, the carrion birds feast, but they will feast upon our enemies, not on good Roman flesh! Oh, well. All this, that was a, uh, all this. Sorry, no, not all this. Uh, Gaius, that was a fantastic speech once again, my friend. Well done. I love it. Probably use you. Go knock down that gate. We don't need that one. Uh, the rest of you guys, fire at will. Uh, do we need them? No, we'll just use these guys, and hopefully these guys. I don't want to lose too much of Starty. Uh, I thought they were running out of the city then. I was going to say, looking on the map. Oh, look at this uh, wall slightly damaged as well. So they definitely have been attacked by Namidia and they've won. <laughs> Shows you how trash Namidia is. Um, we'll send in uh, Gaius as well. He's got 39 generals bodyguards. They would, will be able to mop up all of these guys, no problem. And then again, we don't want a uh, Quintus situation with Gaius, because Gaius is a G-man. Gaius the Great. I don't care about that. Um, just go here. You guys come as well. Yeah, we have. You can just probably just run through as well. Like, ain't no problem. Our troops should be ordered for Namidian cavalry versus my Namidian cavalry. Let's go, boys. They're probably going to break. Come on, General. Let's go. We are shredding them. We're, like, we're beating them quite handily. They're reasonably experienced as well. Come on, General. I should break them very soon. Speed it up. Enemy general is running away. Nice, he's dead. Behave, get them, God get the rest of these Numidian cavalry. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our let's go, let's hearts. go. Kill the rest of these guys. Nice, well done guys. We lost a few, but they were all mercenaries, so they don't matter. And they can uh, garrison this city now. The trashest city in the whole of this game, probably. I mean, Campus Sarkai at least starts as a large town. <laughs> this place starts as a town. Uh, Campus Sarkai might be harder to get to, though. Um, of course, we'll enslave. Keep them on low. Destroy this. Repair. Uh, oh, roads, and then we'll go with Saturn. Right, Gaius, let's get you out of the desert, my friend. 50% is not great. Uh, take 45 more of these boys. 50%. I think... I mean, Rhodes ain't gonna... It's gonna make, mean that Gaius can move quicker, though. Take four of these boys. <laughs> um... What does pressing on that do? I don't know, actually. I've never tried that. Uh, will they be happy after this? Probably not. You can stick a Hastati in there. It's still 50. Oh, they're very unhappy, aren't they? Oh, God. 
Joe, what we're gonna take we're gonna take a uh I'm gonna hope that they stay happy. Oh Gaius, uh, why did I get you stuck out here in the desert, my friend? I'm so sorry. I mean it's almost as quick to go to Thapsus. Right, let's get up there. Gaius, you can command an army very soon. Gaius Victor! Yes! Yes! Ah, he's no longer known as Gaius the Harsh, and I'm sorry everyone's eardrums for that, but yes. He is no longer known as Gaius the Harsh. He is a great man, I promise you. Right, so let's end the turn. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I love how... Okay, uh, it's because my mouse is on the bottom. Whoops. Blockade, Kyrene. Uh... I mean, I will do, but fine. God, they, they recruited one more Peltas. Nimidia just loves recruiting Peltas. I don't get it. Why? Probably it's the only thing they can really train, though. Nepte up to 59% now. That's going to 10%, so 69. Repair that. Repair that first. Oh, that'd be nice if we could. Oh, we can get one more Nimidian cavalry. Let's do it. And that might just tip them over the edge when they get the temple. So Dover's happy now, which is fantastic. I love that. No more traits for any of our guys, unfortunately, which would have been nice. Masana's getting up to large city. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you build now, Carolis. I just want you to upgrade, please. Lily Byam. Um... Lily Byam, we got the cavalry stables. Let's get the... Um, do we want to upgrade? Oh, it's very close to upgrading. Um, so let's go with the... Let's go with that so that we don't get plagues. Ah, Surtur's ready to upgrade. Did you not think about telling me that game? That would have been nice, to be honest. <laughs> Net, uh, yeah. We are all good. Get off. That was when we got off the boats. Yep. Now, how close are we from being able to send a full-scale army out? I think we're basically there. Let's get these Princapes, this Astartian Princapes out. You guys get in and you can retrain. And that will be the uh, last turn. And then we will send them south down to Egypt. And Gaius... I, uh, I don't know. It's going to be a lot of turns. Ooh. It might even be... A, oh, I don't want to build these on roads. Just in case of rebels. We'll build it off the road. They will block our trade routes. The fools. Gaius, you can move faster. I think it's more important having Gaius... Gaius, you can lead the assault in Egypt, I believe, if we get there in time. He's not going to be there in time, though, is he? Oh, well, Gaius, well, you can come and ma manage Thapsus for the time being. You guys get up to Thapsus as well. Yep, there. Cool, we don't really need any more armies now. I mean, I would consider building one in Cordoba. Interesting that you decide to do that. How much devastation do we have? Uh, 96. It is nothing compared to the corruption we experience out here, so that really doesn't bother me. Right, let's end the turn. Idle resources, inactive fleet. Yep, nope, fine. Ah, hello. Trade rights and map information for map information, A most friends. generous proposal. Thank you. Why did we get the uh, Senate mission accomplished thing going off there? Interesting. Hmm. Rebels. Take Siwa. Yep, we will do. And we can see Siwa as well. Yes, Interesting. Yes. Uh, Numidian diplomat. Because it's a set, uh, it's a Senate mission. I'm assuming that is a pure trash army. I don't know hmm, how long it will take to walk there. But it's probably still quicker to come here on the boats. Senate mission successful. Games will be thrown in our honour. Fantastic. Nias Balbus. Nias got a philosopher. Nias is an unreal management guy. Really good. Now he's got a philosopher. He's an engineer. 
He's a very good attacker as well, but to be honest, he's going to be great. Do you have the uh, Doubtful Courage? You do still have that. So we'll send you to Thapsus then. You can manage Thapsus. Thapsus is a minor city, so it's worth having someone there. Right, let's get Flaminius' army on the road. Let's go with the four of you guys. Two of you guys. Uh, Principes. As many Principes as we can first before we dip into Herstarty. Can you get in there, please? Five more left. Do we take the uh, archers? I think we do because we're going to be fighting Egyptian chariots soon. And Egyptian chariots are mean, man. They are very annoying to deal with, especially with pre mariam troops. And you've seen how easily these guys um, these guys route. So <laughs> you can get on the boats. Right, Gaius, how quick can you get to here? I think we wait for Gaius. I think it's worth it. That's the quickest place he can get to. Oh, apart from here, maybe. Yeah, Gaius. You get to there. It's further along on their journey. We'll get to here for you. And it's pretty much pretty much worked out perfectly. Now, you guys will send you up to Carthage. Is there another theatre of war that we could open right now? Hmm. I would really like to snipe Corinth. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we can retrain these Triarii now as well. That's awesome. Let's get another navy then. We can re... Uh, get this. Yeah, lovely. Let's get a lovely navy up and going. And this army can... Two of you. Two, two of everything. Um, and then this army can go and try and snipe Corinth off the Brutii. That would be very nice. I just want that lovely, lovely plus four population loyalty. Carthage. Carthage is going to be our recruitment hub. That is 100% certain. Um, but let's go for the Forum and the Great Forum so we can get the good armor very soon. Down here in Thapsus, we got the Archery Range. Hmm. While we're waiting, we might as well recruit some archers then. Uh, what are we recruiting in Carthage? Triarii. Let's get another Triarii. And then how many Equites do you have? Two. So we want Equites really. Let's go three. So Thapsus. What do we want to build then, Thapsus? Probably roads so these guys can move through here a bit quicker. Tingi. Let's go for law. Demidi, more law. Did this provide law? Happiness. No, this is just happiness. I think the next level is law. But at least it provides a bit of happiness. Nepte, let's get this population growth going. Uh, and that's it. Uh, apart from... Assaulting Kyrene. Oh, that's so trash. It is really trash. We can probably do all of this with the War Dogs and Flavius. Uh, so let's try and do that. Did they... Oh, I didn't check. Did they have a general? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. The thing is with Egypt right now, they will not be focused on this side. And if we take out those three cities, um, Memphis, Alexandria, and Thebes, very early on, uh, they will have nothing to reply with. Like, literally nothing. Absolutely nada. Let's listen to Flavius's speech, though. To keep them waiting. So let us see how they like good Roman steel. We are facing the Numidians, cunning fiends in human form. They are a dangerous foe and cruel beyond imagining when victorious. And draw strength from this fact the enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. Our task today is a noble one. To preserve the town and its people. The count of our warriors will show you who is truly favored by the gods. It is not our foes. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? 
Another victory is at hand. They will try to keep us at bay and take the coward's way of bombarding us with missiles. We must grasp them by the sword belt in this battle. Now I say, this far and no further. Here we make a stand. You all know my worth and what I have done before. Of the foes who attacked me in the past, few ever got to boast of their success. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth and let this be one more. March on and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Way, let's go. Big Flavius. Eh, when I say big, I don't know whether he's actually big in real life. That would be nice traits to have, actually. Like size. Like, okay, if he has, if he's a giant or something, you could add his, the attack power of the general, I guess. I mean, uh, that would make the general even more OP, though. So, maybe not. You guys get there. You guys get here. And all fire at will. I don't know why I did it that way. That was dumb, but okay. Right then. Let's go, my friends. You're going to get bombarded with a few missiles, but... Oh well. Oh well. It's a price to pay, isn't it, my friends? That is Namidian cavalry, so it is not a general. Thing is, we can make these guys rout very easily. And once they rout, they run back to the town square. We'll kill them. The war dogs will do a good job. They just seem to be throwing them into the. Uh... Oh, is this tower actually shooting us? The enemy gate is down. Uh, war dogs. Can you release the dogs yet or not? Okay, we'll release the dogs here then. Release the dogs! Let us go. Flavius, let us go, my friend. They're like... Uh, Flavius. We'll use these three units of Astarte when they're ready to go. They're still steady, which is surprising. Come on. They are wavering. Right, Flavius, get out of there, my friend. We'll let the war dogs do their bit. A few of them are dying. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. You guys fire at them. Get here, Flavius, my friend. Yes, everyone's routing now. Let's go. They're all routing. Fantastic. Fire your missiles and we will come and attack them. Now they've got the dogs attacking them now, which is great. They're shaken. Rally, where are you? Oh, he's there. Oh, I think he's there. He's right there. Oh, God, good job. That wasn't Flavius. Let's go, my friends. Astarte, let's go. Yeah, they're all going to rout here. Yeah, come on, kill them all. Kill them all before they get to the town square. Let's go. The power of the generals, eh? Astarte can't even keep up. The dogs are just going ham. Come on, dogs. Nice one, dogs. How are we dying? Oh, they've got the actual... Ah, I actually got the uh, the soldiers involved. Well done, boys. <laughs> Spam fest, grind fest. We 81 for the war dogs. General just going ham, though. Well done, Flavius. I hope he gets a brave trait or something like that from that, because he did charge through about a million bloody troops. Uh, but probably not. Uh, Scarred as well would be great, because it gives more hit points. Slave once again. Flavius. Doo -doo -doo. Draftsman, Vanquisher, no. He's still not Scarred or Been in Wars, which are both really good for his hit. Oh, no, he's got Been in Wars. Sorry. Right, Repair. Uh, destroy. Now they're unhappy. Let's go with Saturn, of course. Get a Peasant. Make you go to low. Uh, can we get out of the city? How do you do with one full unit in there? 
35. That's not great. Um, can we recruit mercenaries? Oh, we can. And that's what we're going to do. So, I think three will be enough to keep these guys happy. The pace of our movement is just more important than waiting around for these cities to be done. Right, Admiral, you've not been in any battles. You're a fool. You're a joke. You're a waste of time. All right, let's get to this port. Retinue expands. We've got mercenary captain. One command. 2% bonus cash from looting. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. Carthage had this at one point. Namidia, you actually did something. Oh, hello. You're going to be a rebel soon, though. Gaius, we could go and kill Hiram. Uh, but we probably don't need to. We're, once we get here, we'll probably just remove one of these Roman, this Roman archer. Send him back to Thapsus, because that's where we can recruit archers. And you'll be the fourth archer unit in this army. We need another general growing up soon, though, because Gnaeus is a very good governor. Not a general. Tingy, why have you got unhappy, bro? Goodoba's happy now. Let's get you across here. Can you get in Tingy? You made them more unhappy, bro. You are so bad. You are so bad. Minus one management. But, you know, if you die in a riot, I hate that bothered. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Right, let's end the turn, guys. Let's just Magna's inactive, but, yeah, it needs to upgrade. Um, I am working on a building... Uh, video so the evolution of buildings in total war how we went from this type of building population based and um, you know other building governed to something like empire that's technology based mm. right well we'll come and try and kill him Guys, you won't be able to do it on your own, but you'll probably be damn close to being able to do it on your own. <laughs> this army would be able to defeat that one very, very easily. So we'll bring you down here. Once you've killed them, you can jump on the boat. Take Siwa. Of course, we're going for that. Ceasefire, Brutia and Gaul. Rioting in Tingi. Still more rioting. Hmm. Not very good. They didn't destroy anything, though. This gives an extra 5%, so he should be happy after the next turn. That might be someone's spy being in there. Lucius. You got a philosopher. He's an unlucky leader. You need a bit more than that, my bro. To become a good person. Admiral Servius got a priest of Neptune. Where are you? Okay, so that guy can't actually merge with other, other admirals now, which is really annoying. <laughs> Not going to lie. You don't need to go there, actually. We'll be able to defeat them with another army. Right, we're losing a bit of money, but we're not really. Doesn't matter. Right then. Next one, let's get the forum. Palmer. Doesn't matter what you build. You can build all those. We might as well spend the money on it now. Oh, actually, no, because you're going to upgrade soon. Uh, Cordoba. The minor city. What is Tingi? Large town. Uh, Cordoba, let's get the large mines. We can afford it, even though they're not that great. Oh, everyone's happy in Kyrene now. Um, let's get the roads. Recruitment report, nice. Get these guys off the boats, please, as soon as you can. Get them there. You guys have moved. You guys have moved. You've moved. Okay, cool. Another turn. Let's smash that end turn button. Ah, Namidia take has taken its garrison out. What idiots. Oh, hello. I should have probably recruited those troops. This is not where you die, Gaius. I promise you that. Mm. Let's retreat. They're probably going to chase us. That's fine by me. Can I recruit those mercenaries, please? <laughs> I think we can win this. We just need to kill his general. His Namidian cavalry is going to be a nightmare, though. 
This is where Gaius dies. <laughs> this is where Gaius dies, guys. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but it's probably true. Let's hear his speech to his own bodyguard. Um, we're going to be have to be careful how we play this. Very careful. The Numidian king has sent his servants against us. Do not fear them, for they will be cut down just like other men. Now then, look to your front. Mark your target when it comes. Is that it, Gaius? Is that the speech that you are going to die on? Okay. That's fine by me, really, but... Let's come stand here. Let's get spread out. Let's stay... Oh, they're going to bring the Numidians, aren't they? That is great for us. If you bring those Numidians close to me, I will charge them down to hell and back, my friend. Hmm. Got to wait till they get close, though. We will tend to catch them. Then we'll get a volley off, so we might have a struggle against their general's bodyguard. We just want to run past them, really. The, sk the skirmish mode kind of gets icky for them. They don't know how to use it properly, so... Um, if we get into, like, this corner... We might be cornered, but... They've not even got a, a, a thing off yet. They're going to be stuck against the corner, aren't they? Yep, there we... Oh, come on! You should have got them then. You should have got them then, my friend. I'm going to have to run them manually rather than trust them to attack properly. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, we should absolutely shred them here. And I don't want them to come back. Kill them all, my friends. If they run straight off the battle map, good for us. Now we have to go and try and deal with their general, which is going to be tough. These guys are trash, so what really needs to happen is us dealing with their general first. We are winded. If we can get the charge off on him... We should win. Okay, that's a very, very long range missile, bro. Like, very long range. I mean, you killed some of my troops with that. That's That makes me sad. You could throw that far. Really? Let's get the charge off. If we kill their general, we win this. Our charge was not great there. I'm going to throw missiles again, but a lot of them are going to hit their own troops. Come on, bro. Alright, out then. Out then. Oh, those missiles are shredding us. Gaius, this is where you die, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gaius. Should have checked how far that army could move. Yeah, Gaius is dead. Can we retreat? I don't think we can. We need you to rout them before you die. Before you die. I'm sorry, Gaius. I'm sorry I've done this to you. That general just didn't die in the charge. That was quite freaky. Gaius, you... So you don't die. If the rest of them are out, that's fine with me. Gaius, you stay at the back, bro. And let us route. We will route and then run away, hopefully. Should have probably auto-resolved, then it wouldn't... Gaius definitely wouldn't die. Well, not definitely. Yes, okay. Get out, get out, guys. No, he's dead. No, Gaius. One of them escaped as well. Ah. I wish that was Gaius. Foolish. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, I think that's the first misstep we've had in the game. So it had to come at some point, right? What What better episode than episode five, eh? Ah, oh, Gaius is dead. No, not Gaius. Not Gaius. We will avenge him. I promise you that. Candidate for adoption. Numerius Ventidius. Where are you? You're in Tingi. Oh, fuck's sake. Why are you in Tingi? You are 29, though. Um, do you know what? We'll just send you to Cordoba. Yeah, Tingi's back being happy. Send you to Cordoba. That's fine. You're old anyway. 
Gaius Victor. Gaius has died. No. I should have recruited those mercenaries on that turn. Why didn't I recruit those fucking mercenaries? Why is Her Herius Flaminius... I mean, he is good, though. As I say, we don't really care about keeping the Scipii name pure. Right then. You guys are going to come down to Egypt. Takes so long. I wish you guys would be a bit faster. Oh, what a what a nightmare of a scenario. I was not hoping for that to happen. We should beat you, though, very easily. And we will take revenge. Who are you, anyway? Hiram. Hiram, you are damned to all hell that you think that you can besmirch Gaius's name with your actions. Still two turns to get there. That is fucking annoying. <laughs> right, let's go have a look at Egypt. We can see Thebes. Got no one in, really. Let's go look at um, Memphis and then Alexandria. Right, construction. Capua. Get that. Oh, no, we want to get the Great Forum. Yeah, Great Forum next, definitely. And then we can get the good armor when we uh, upgrade the city. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You're nearly close to upgrading as well. Lily Biome. Tingy. Get that. Serta. We want in Serta. Highways. We can get highways here. Let's go with that. We are still decent on money. So I'm not prioritizing money as much as I might do if we weren't doing that well on money. But yes. Captain Herennius. You have served under Gaius your whole life. And now you must avenge his death. Avenge him. For he was the great leader that we all wanted. That we all believed in. That we all needed. And it is your turn to avenge his death, my friend. The portents are bad, my okay, we we'll listen to his speech. But I do not care. I know that I have brave men at my back. And only the enemy in front of me. We are facing the Numidians. Cunning fiends in human form. They are a dangerous foe and cruel beyond imagining when victorious. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. Many times I have faced this enemy and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. So, let your battle cry be victory! Victory and glory to Rome! I like how it remembers that they've fought um, these guys a lot as well. Now, what we have to avoid is getting routed by their damn cavalry. And that Numidian cavalry. Uh, you guys walk. We'll put you on time, time six speed. They're on a little hill. They think they're hard. They're not hard. They are fools. This is for Gaius. For Gaius. And they're all thinking, God, I'm so glad he's dead. We don't need to worry about decimation anymore. But Herennius, he has learnt a lot from Gaius. He has learnt his ways of war. From his great friend Gaius. Sure there was a class divide. But no. Herennius loved the man. And shall love him more. And regale tales of his victories. Among the campfire tonight in honour of his friend. Stop firing your shit at me. That is what I really want you to do. Is stop firing your shit at me. Hiram, time for you to die, my friend. Okay, we broke them, so... We can surround this guy. Like, more died in that Equites charge than the General's charge. Which is kind of crazy, really, when you think about it. And not many Equites are dying. Now, I was surprised how much he died and how far those Javelins could be thrown, to be honest. They were getting thrown all over the shop. Fantastic. Kill Hiram for his great... His killing of Gaius was cruel and unjust. Alright, get those Numidian cavalry. Yes, they're so happy. Well done, boys. Yeah, cool. 
These guys are just so caught up in the moment. They don't want to fight anymore. They want to just remember their great commander. Right, Equites. Let's go. How are you slower than these guys? Come on! Get them! Is that the edge of the map yet? No, right, you just guys from here then. Right, you go after them. Um, I want to slaughter every last man here. Slaughter them all for what they have done. Well, I guess that's good revenge. Oh, we've got to kill more. We didn't actually kill the whole army, I don't think. Yeah, we did. Okay, fine. <laughs> A fitting tribute. Well done, Equites. Well done, Hastati. A fitting tribute to the great Gaius. I can they believe that I got him killed like that. That's so dumb of me, but... Oh, well. Gaius... We should have recruited some mercenaries for you. Even one mercenary unit would have been okay. I should have done that. Yes. Herennius. Gaius's successor. Herennius Palmer. What a man. What a man. 22. He's been campaigning since with Gaius since he was 10. And he is a good commander. He doesn't have the harsh reputation though of Gaius. Which I love. He is a fantastic general. Gaius is... We'll call him Gaius the Second. I wish we could change names. That would be cool. Gaius the Second. Because Romans did generally change their names when they became, you know, um, you know, emperor. Like, the, their natural names were not the same names as the uh, as their emperor names and all that, all that gubbins. So, yes. It's Kyrene. We can probably get rid of some of these guys. Alright, they're still happy. Yeah, it's not going down with the garrison. Oh! Okay, it did. <laughs> Get one more peasant then. Oh well. Bit of a waste of money, but it doesn't matter. Get rid of those stupid docks that they have. And I am happy that we managed to get a man out of the, of the hour out of that. It makes sense. It bring, It's thematically lovely to tri give a tribute to Gaius like that. Oh, diplomat, my friend. We have not got you moving for a while. Let's get you to Armenia. You have to go all the way around that way. That's annoying, but okay. Ah, the pearly gates of Egypt. I am kind of worried, to be honest, about Egypt. Worried that they uh, that their cavalry generals are just going to shred us. So we have to kind of... Um, one minor exotic unit. Give me elephants, please. <laughs> That is my request. Elephants. Yeah, they're back happy. Town grows Palma. He's from Palma. So he has been... He was recruited in Palma as a, as a legionary. Heren I'm talking about Herennius now. By Gaius himself. And he has avenged... Uh, av avenged? Avenged the man. Originally a Carthaginian, now a Roman. Well done, Herennius. You're now my second favourite general, apart from Gaius, but Gaius is dead. <laughs> Flavius is fine. I mean, I like Aulus because he's just crazy. Where is Aulus? He's in Thapsus. How are you doing, Aulus, my friend? Like, he was rubbish and now he's good. That's what I like about him. Uh, we got these three archer units. We could do with one more, actually. And a ballista. Let's go for a ballista as well. And then we'll... Oh, yeah, we're going to snipe Corinth, won't we? Brutii might have that soon. Uh, it's going to take them a bit of time to move out of there, though. Look at these Greek armies. They're going to do decent, to be fair. Masana, you have upgraded, my friend. Fantastic. Let's go for the second shipwright, if we can. Oh, no. Let's go for somewhere where we can recruit good units. Uh, catapult range. Thapsus, let us build. Hmm. What do we want here? I like that just for all us to get some more traits to become a better management bloke and see whether he can get into the Senate, get some more influence. Not that that really matters that much, but, you know, it's good for a bit of thematic play, hey? Right, this navy, which is very weak. Um, 
keep coming. I think as soon as we're there, we're probably just going to get picked off by an Egyptian Navy straight away. But at that point, the ships have served their purpose, right? Let's get there. It's going to take you a while to get there. Ah, oh, so upset about that. About, well, killing Gaius off. It's my fault, but... Oh, well. Oh, this spy as well. Let's bring the spy up here. See this... Where's that central place? It's up here, right? Oh, hello, Gaul. I like that you're trying something, but look at that army. You need that army over here, bro. Why is it over here? Come on, man. Don't be a slub. Right, send the turn again. Oh, who are you? Hello. Be quick. I'll Our bribe you. Is limp. If we may yes. Have. Well, when you put it like I don't that. Know, I don't know why I did that, but I bribed them. Let's go and see whether we can bribe this settlement, just for the bit of bants. Like, our diplomat is really useless right now. Like, it doesn't matter. Right, path locked. Cool. Well, I think before we actually press that end turn, guys, we're going to end that episode here. So once again, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Parthia campaign. Check out my faction ranking video, my Roman unit ranking video. And uh, that should be excellent. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again on the next video.